Hello everyone, my name is Bo Alexander and I'm so glad that you're here. As some of you may know, I moved into the apartment that I currently live in back in March of this year when the global shutdown began to take effect. Needless to say, I've been filling my apartment slowly piece by piece over the past seven months. I'd say I'm roughly 95% of the way there with the exception of a few pieces that I'm still currently on the hunt for. Luckily, there's an incredible furniture store nearby called Greenfront Furniture that has a curated selection of luxury designer pieces at substantially discounted prices. I made a couple of purchases from them earlier in the year having bought my coffee table and TV console from them. I like to think of it as a more elevated home goods or home sense because it's a massive 100,000 square foot warehouse filled with high-end furniture, decor accents, and rugs. In today's video, we'll be heading on over to peruse around and see what they have in store for us while gathering inspiration and ideas for our own unique spaces. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know if you enjoy videos like this by chatting with me in the comments, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up so that I know you would like me to create more videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Botox now for more day-to-day -day posts and inspiration. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Here we are right outside of the massive Greenfront Furniture Warehouse. This modern, neoclassic acrylic dining side chair is manufactured by the brand Theodore Alexander and retails for $1,935. They had it here at Greenfront for nearly half the price at $968, though similarly fashioned lucite chairs like this style by Safa Villa can go for even less on websites like Overstock.com. This solid, lead crystal wildwood table lamp named The Abbey retails online for upwards of $917. This piece sold here for about $589, but again, similar styles are out there in the market for one-fifth of the price should a piece like this resonate with you. If you've followed my channel for some time, you'll know that I have an affinity for ornate gilded mirrors. They have two here, they didn't have a price tag on them, but I can assure you they were worlds more expensive than the three I upcycled from Facebook Marketplace. I'll link that video for you above in the cards if you haven't watched it already. I've had my eye on this gem side table by the brand Caracol for quite some time. It reminds me of an oversized diamond ring, and the glass crystal top alone weighs roughly 30 pounds and reflects and refracts the light so beautifully. It retails for $1,135, Greenfront is selling it for $719, and I can honestly say that for a piece like this, a dupe just won't do. I spent hours trying to find a more reasonable alternative, but this is just one of those unique pieces where a splurge is necessary. Similarly, the Contempo side tables by the same brand, Caracol, are fashioned in an irregular hexagonal shape. This piece will definitely act as a focal point or conversation piece when added to any room. The top is made of black glass, and the faceted sides are actually made of a high-polished, deeply colored bronze. The smaller of the pair retails for $1,070 and can be bought here for roughly half the price. This console is by the brand Smile Furniture. I couldn't find the exact table here, but I found a very similar style that is made of the same silver-toned iron and topped with white calicotta marble. This piece would likely retail for upwards of $900, but was a steal here at Greenfront for $269. I know that Cloud Couch from Restoration Hardware is super popular in the mainstream, but could you imagine taking that same plush-styled sofa outdoors? One of these Montecito outdoor sofas and ottoman sets by the brand Summer Classics would set you back over $6,956 on Wayfair, but here they had each piece heavily discounted totaling $3,918 for both. There are similar wicker and rattan styled sectionals in the market for less, but this piece was so well made I just had to share. This diamond wood credenza by Abroad Furnishing is rich in textural detail and is made of natural mango wood and iron. This item had already sold, but a quick look at the receipt showed me it went for $450. A piece of this size would easily sell for upwards of $1,299 on websites like Pottery Barn or Anthropology. This coffee table, like the Half Moon console table we looked at earlier, was made by Smile Furniture. 
It too was made from iron and topped with calicotta marble. I found a similar contemporary style online that retails for $1,213, so at $259 this piece was a no-brainer. This extremely modern wide arm Wilton lounge chair is by the designer Lillian August. As shown in the natural colored upholstery, this piece retails online for $1,858. At $1,399 here at Greenfront, it's still relatively expensive, so I do recommend the look for less at $510 from All Modern. I think we're all extremely familiar with these decorative brass sculptures. This variation retails for $312. It was still relatively expensive here at $239, and I know Studio McGee released a dupe of this piece for $20 at Target. I've also seen others for the same price at Home Goods. This Nuevo Furniture Assembly Dining Table was definitely one of those pieces that you see styled in an Instagram post and wonder, where in the world can I find something like that? And the answer is right here, for a pretty penny at $2,399, and that's just the table. The chairs themselves sell for $649 each, but that's still much less in comparison to over $2,915 for the table and $870 for each chair elsewhere. Now, the last thing I need is another lamp, but believe me if I had the space, this would be one item I'd scoop up in an instant. This table lamp is made by the brand a and Home and sells online for $448. They have it here for $127.99, which needless to say, is a fraction of the price. Even Greenfront has jumped on the horse figurine bandwagon. The standing variation by Wildwood retails for $155 on Paragold, but was more reasonably priced in the $60 range here. This just goes to show you how much you could be saving if you're willing to do the footwork and look outside of the mainstream furniture and decor stores we all know and love. This set of three Alegria sculptures by the same brand, Wildwood, retail for $665 online. Greenfront has them displayed for $429. The slender figurines stand at over 2.5 feet in height, are made of aluminum, and finished in brushed nickel. Though pieces like this consistently make their way through home goods, so be sure to keep your eyes peeled. This massive wall art piece is by the brand Art Addiction. On their site, the 48 by 48 inch work goes for $1,568. It sells for $1,299 here, but could definitely be replicated for a fraction of the price. I believe you can have photos you've taken yourself blown up to size and framed for a much more reasonable cost. Chesterfield sofas add an air of sophistication to any space. I own one myself, but definitely did not spend $5,899 on the piece. A real leather sofa like this by the brand Hancock & More will set you back over $6,000, but more reasonably priced faux leather alternatives can be sourced on Wayfair.com. The Jarn Chair by designer Lillian August is upholstered in a textural shearling. These chairs are extremely comfortable and emit a super luxe vibe. It was selling here for $1,659, but faux Sherpa accent chairs can be found online for as little as $250 elsewhere. I couldn't believe this Sarid Bartlett side table was only $99. The same piece sells on Cherish.com for $658, which is nearly six times as expensive. The gold finished base is made of iron and lends a very contemporary or modern feel to a space. For a piece of designer furniture, this was quite a steal. I've always found these tripod-styled floor clocks to be super retro. This variation by Howard Miller was definitely a more modern take on the nostalgic timepiece as it was finished in polished chrome and had clear acrylic legs. It sells for over $2,049 online but was being sold here for $1,399. More reasonably priced variations can be found on Target by the same brand for around $700. I'm fortunate enough to have a built-in bookshelf in my apartment, but believe me if I didn't, I'd definitely have made the leap to acquire one or both of these Goodman cabinets by the brand Dovetail. They retail for over $2,191 each, and were more reasonably priced here for $939. They were super sturdy and made of iron, I'm sure others could be found for less, but the quality here was worth it for the price. 
This inlaid resin console table by the brand Beacon was absolutely stunning. On Wayfair, the piece sells for $2,280 and that's on sale. Here at Greenfront, it was displayed for half that at $1,190 and is well worth every penny. One thing I love about this Greenfront location is that they have an entire secondary warehouse that's dedicated to the intricate and ornate rugs they hand source from every corner of the world. The rugs in this curated selection are hand-loomed and hand-woven pieces imported globally from countries like Argentina, Brazil, India, and Morocco. They also have a few select vintage wooden hand-painted doors, cabinets, arches, doorways, and other unique Indian accent pieces that have been handcrafted and exported directly to their facility. The owners of Greenfront make the trek and navigate their way through these overseas manufacturers and vendors to examine, inspect, and bring only the finest quality product back to their customers. Take this 8x10, naturally colored, chunky braided, wool and jute rug for example. At Restoration Hardware or Pottery Barn, the same style would set you back over $1400 to $1500. And here at Greenfront, you can scoop up one of these richly textured pieces for $239. So for all of you watching, remember, you heard it here first. The same can be said of this diamond woven jute rug. The size was a bit bigger at 9x13, but still, for $509, this was much more reasonable than the $1200 plus that a similar style would cost you from Serena and Lily. The selection here is vast, and I've yet to see anyone come close to showcasing or sourcing incredibly well-made and fairly priced rugs of this quality for less elsewhere. For all of you who appreciate the modern bohemian aesthetic, they even carry natural shag wool rugs. At $295, again, the prices here just cannot be beat. These are some of the highest quality rugs that I've seen up close and in person. Not even restoration hardware can compare, I promise you. They even have quite an extensive collection of natural hide, suede, and leather rugs for those who may be interested in this style. A majority of these pieces are ethically sourced from start to finish in Argentina and Brazil. These pieces are known for their quality, strength, and durability and come in a variety of natural and dyed neutral color tones. Smaller variations start at around $89 and work their way up to $199, less than half of what they can be purchased for at Pottery Barn. Antique Raja Indian doors of this size can sell for upwards of $18,000 on Cherish.com. They are ornately detailed in hand carvings, would make a beautiful statement piece leaning or hung against a wall, and sell for a much more reasonable price here at $21.50. They also had quite an assortment of these antique rug pillows. They sell for $49 here. I've seen the cover alone, less the pillow itself, sell for a comparable price on Pottery Barn's website. Needless to say, these are the real deal. The last item I want to spotlight was their selection of sliced, petrified wood accent tables. At $249, the price was fair. A piece of the same size sells for around $1,796 on house, but I can assure you I've seen them for around $149 if not less at home goods. So that was it for this week's video, you guys. I hope that you continue to feel inspired while sourcing inspiration and decor for your home in your own unique style. I am so happy to have you here accompanying me on this home decor journey. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so that you can be notified first for upcoming posts and videos. Keep the positivity flowing, my friends. Until next time, bye.